Hi, Caitlin. Hello. How are you? <laughs> hey, baby. Um, gosh, thank you, Jonathan, and thank you for holding my award. Absolutely. And your beautiful, your beautiful piano playing. Yeah. Right. Amazing. Um, this is. Um, I wrote this speech, and then I came here, and I was like, "This. I don't know if this speech is going to work in this room. This is. I'm going to try and make it work, but." Yeah, I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try, guys. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this. Okay, so uh, about 20 years ago, I heard a phrase, and it was, art is love made visible. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and when I wrote um, the pilot of Transparent, that was absolutely true for me. I was writing it as an act of love to my MAPA and to my family as my MAPA came out uh, at the age of 73 to me, and yeah. <laughs> MAPA is totally freaking out right now because the Cubs are going to the World Series, so. <laughs> Chicago, where are my Cubby fans at? Yay, Chicago! Yes, Alexandra, yeah, we're going to the World Series. It's a big deal. So that's what Mop is thinking about tonight. Um, this is quite a dream come true for somebody who grew up watching beauty pageants. I had the little yellow memo pad out. My sister and I would be taking, taking score just like you guys. Um, and I grew up wanting to be part of a movement. And I grew up worshiping at the altar of television. As I watched TV when I was little, it never occurred to me that I could make TV or even be on TV, but I definitely wanted to be inside of the TV. Whatever everybody was staring at, I wanted to be on the other side of that glass. And as I've gotten older, I've realized that the time we spent staring at that TV communicated what felt normal to us. And so what's so exciting about Transparent is now as this kind of regular, normal family, we have this beautiful trans family with a trans matriarch. Um, a story, thanks. <laughs> Applaud now. Thank you. Um, a coming out story where no one dies. A trans woman who is not a victim or a villain. A whole bunch of queer people doing really queer things and just acting very normal about it. I sometimes, I don't know if you guys remember the scene where like Gabby Hoffman and Carrie Brownstein are like flopping each other in the face with a dick. They have like a strap on, they're just like bopping each other in the face with it and laughing. Like, that's just the regular Brady Bunch for college kids today. That's just the normal, the normal thing, that's the baseline. The starting from a place of wild playfulness about gender, about sexuality, upending the binary. The next generation is gonna be free in ways that we can't imagine. Protagonism perpetuates privilege. We must be relentless about demanding access to protagonism. Propaganda protects and perpetuates privilege. And that's what TV is, it's propaganda. Like if you're a straight white cis guy who's like a little bit overweight, you've been watching propaganda for years that you deserve like a super perfect slender girlfriend. And, but we need to create our own propaganda with queer people at the center. Um, yeah, Woo! it's true. Trans creators, trans producers, trans directors, trans people everywhere behind the scenes, in front of the cameras, everywhere that has been taken, you know, I think a lot of like cis guys have been like, we're the only ones who can do this, it's really hard. It's not that hard. It's not hard, it's really fun actually. Yeah, take it, yeah, just storm the gates, take it over, it's not hard at all. They've been pretending like it's hard. It's not hard, it's just a great time. Yeah, Silas Howard is here, one of the directors. It's fun, right? We're having the time of our lives. We gotta demand more of these, more of these uh, places and spaces. I wanna thank the trans community and the queer community. I know people have like, accused the queer community of like, recruiting people and people are like, that's not true, but I, can't, I did turn gay. <laughs> it's true, it happened. Guys, two years in the queer world and I came out. Um, the other day, Lady J was, remember you're all, Jill, I don't think you're cis. She doesn't think I'm cis. I was, I was excited, I was excited to hear that. It wouldn't be that weird if I wasn't cis. I might not be. I have at least one non-binary parent, that's Mappa. 
My little mom's pretty butch too, herself, so. I could have two non-binary parents. Um, it's hard at 51, this late onset gender questioning I'm experiencing, guys, one pair of boxer briefs at a time. Just try, trying to find myself. One pair of boxer briefs at a time. You know, I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh yeah, I get this. I'm just like a super hot kind of non-binary dude. And then like somebody calls me ma'am. I'm like, what are you, what are you, ma'am? What are you, you're making me feel like Alice on the Brady Bunch. I'm not ma'am. What are you? Thank you. Poppy, thank you. Thank you. I especially want to thank uh, the trans community for welcoming this show and this creative explosion, and especially the actors Alexandra Gray, Alexandra Billings, the queen, the first. Trace Lizette, is she here? Trace Lizette. Si Silas Howard, who's here, Reese Ernst, and Zachary, I know you're here. Yeah. The homecoming queen of the trans community. I want to salute you and Jody for creating this, uh, this film festival because this amazing whole weekend starting Thursday and ending tomorrow, it's the very first of its kind. And by, by promoting trans voices, you are literally moving the needle. You're finding, identifying, distributing trans voices. And it's because it is through art making and our watching and our sharing that driving power of one person's story to inspire many people to become the main characters in their own lives. Love is art made visible and art is love made visible. Keep making art and keep sharing love. Thank you.